Fort Wayne is in the national spotlight in a big way. Addison Egan sang her heart out, representing her hometown on the voice finale. And the Fort Wayne Mastodons have made history on the hardwood. Sports director Glenn Marini joins us now. It's hard to believe, Heather, we're here talking upset IPFW over IU, but we are after beating IU last year in overtime here at the Coliseum. It didn't seem like the Mastodons would be able to top that. Well, how about a 20-point win at IU storied Assembly Hall? Dons down in Bloomington, and they started out hot in this one, but were down by one at the half. No worries, Dons fans. Second half all bathed in blue. John Conchar, the junior, buries it for the Dons' first double-digit lead at 61-51. Later, the freshman Dylan Carl wide open in the corner for three. One of 17 triples the Dons hit on the game. Dons up 14 there. Then you're going to see Conchar pushing the lead to 19 late, and it was simple math from there. The Dons run away with this one. Unbelievable. 92 to 72 to beat the Hoosiers for the second year in a row. News Channel 15's Andy McDonald now joins us live from Bloomington and is standing by now with a guy who's orchestrated not one, but two wins over IU in the last two years. Andy. Hey, thank you, Glenn. It's Deja Dons, the IPFW Dons. They knock off Indiana in back-to-back -back seasons, and it was an impressive win, and now I'm joined by head coach John Kaufman, and you beat him by 20, and, and what does this win, you beat him last year, but what does this one mean to the program? Well, I, I mean, it was really special for this group in terms of they, they took that next step in terms of how they they managed the process of the game, and, and you know, we, we can shoot that way. I mean, 17 threes is a great night, but but it's in our tank, and we've done that in our program. We've already done it one time this year against, uh, you know, not in Indiana, but we told them, let's hunt 40 minutes of being us on the offensive end and, and going through the process, and they were pretty close tonight. But, uh, you know, even above that, you know, what it does, for, for our city, the city of Fort Wayne, and for IPFW, um, our university. I mean, drawing that sort of attention um, is, is, is really, really special for a number of people. And I'm, I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad that these guys uh, represent myself and, and, and our city, and they, they, they make us all so proud. So it's really, really enjoyable night for the Dons. At one point during this game, you guys hit eight of nine threes. Have you seen your team get hot like that before? I mean, you go back to those Max Landis days. I mean, there's been a lot of good shooters come through the program, but uh, in this environment, you know, at Assembly Hall or an equivalent, no, I haven't haven't had that sort of a, an outcome. And that, you know, our defense really, really uh, improved in the second half, and we held them to 34 percent from the floor. And the offense put a ton of pressure too, and really helped out our defense. I mean, when we're hitting three after three after three, that puts a lot of pressure on the other end to come up with some baskets. Thank you, John. Uh, obviously, the Dons, they knock off Indiana again, 92-72. And in sports, we'll hear from Bryce and Scott, the Scott Twins. They're 6-0 against Indiana. But for now, Heather, back to you. All right.